انسیڈنٹ آف سلاخ دیبیا دی کفار آف کوریش دے ور بینٹ اپون ڈوئنگ مسچیف بٹ یو نو اللہ سبحانہ و تعالی پروڈیوس دی سرکمسٹانسز دیٹ دے ہیڈ ٹو کنکلوڈ دی ٹریٹی آف دیبیا سو اللہ سیز ہمت قومنا یبسطو علیکم ایدیہم فکف ایدیہم انکم اللہ ہیلڈ بیک دیر ہینڈز فرم یو دے کورن فائٹ And that is why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, you know, in Surah Al-Fatih, inna fatahna laka fatham mubina. We have given you a very clear victory of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Moral victory. You have come back with moral victory. Because when Quraysh had to acknowledge Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, recognize Muhammad. You enter into a treaty with a nation or a country when you recognize it. Why were the Arabs not able to talk to Jews before? They were not ready to sit on one table, to be in one room at a time with representatives of Israel. Because any such act would have meant that they have recognized Israel. Now because they have been overpowered, now they are recognizing one by one. This is the worst punishment that Allah is giving them. Under a nation which is maghdub and mal'oon, That nation has the upper hand now, which is Malhun, the accursed one. Zulabat alayhimu zillatu wal maskanatu wa ba'u bi alabi min Allah. There can be no bigger humiliation than this. But you know, this is the recognition. If you talk to them, it is recognition. If you enter into any treaty with them, you have recognized. So Quraysh recognized Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. That was the biggest treaty. یا ایو الذین آمنوا اذکروا نعمت اللہ علیکم اذ ہم قوم ان یبسطوا الیکم ایدیہم فکیف فکف ایدیہم عنکم واتقوا اللہ اینڈ ہیو تقوی فر اللہ وعلی اللہ فلیتوکل المومنون اور نوٹ اونلی تقوی پٹ ہول اف یور ٹرسٹ ان اللہ یو مسٹ ہیو آل یور ٹرسٹ اینڈ فیت ان اللہ ولقد اخذ اللہ میثاق بنی اسرائیل Now because a covenant has been taken from you, O Muslims, just remember the past history. You are not the only Muslim Ummah. There was a bigger Muslim Ummah than yourself. Why bigger? How many prophets came to them? For 1400 long years the chain of prophethood never broke. Starting with two. Moses and Harun, ending with two. Jesus and John the Baptist. There was not a moment, single moment during these 1400 years that a prophet was not present. Kanat Banu Israel, this is Hadith in, in, in Sahih of Bukhari, Rahimahullah. Kanat Banu Israel, tasuzuhumul anbiya, kullama halaka nabiyyul khalaf hau nabiyyul. Whenever a prophet died, another, another prophet was in his place. So it was a very big ummah. Ya Bani Israel, askuru ni'mati ya lati adamtu alaykum wa ni faddaltukum ala alameen. These words appear twice for the Jews in the Quran. But what happened? Allah has taken a covenant from them also. فَلَقَدْ أَخَذَ اللَّهُ بِسَاقَ بَنِ إِسْرَائِلَ وَبَاسْنَا مِنُمْ إِسْنَا أَشَرَ نَقِيبًا We took a covenant from them and we re-raised them in, in them Twelve monitors. Now people have translated chieftains and so on. But the best word is Naqib is one who looks after the affairs. Who is vigilant what this, these people are doing. So monitoring. Monitors just you have in classes, you know, classrooms. With twelve monitors. Twelve tribes. With each tribe there was a monitor. And the Prophet ﷺ kept this number. This is important. When the people of Yathrib, they embraced Islam, they gave him their pledge, Ba'atul Aqba, Ba'atul Aqba Tisaniya. Then he appointed 12 monitors, nine 
among the Khadraj, three among the Aws. But the number he kept twelve. Asna Ashara Nakiba. Wal Allahu and Allah said, Inni Maakum, O children of Israel, I am with you. My help, my blessings will remain with you. Lain akab tu salat awat hai tu muzaka. If you keep establishing salah and keep on going, giving the obligatory charity, wa aman tum bi rusuli. And if you go on believing in my messengers, messengers will come after messengers. Messengers will come after messengers, and you have to believe in all of them. Wa azatumu hum. And if you support them, support the messengers, you help them. And you keep on giving Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala a goodly loan, spending in his way. I will cover all your mistakes with my pardoning and my forgiveness. And I will definitely make you enter those gardens underneath which Rivers would be flowing. Faman kafar abad adalik. As for he who goes back after this, who goes back on the covenant, who breaks the covenant, min kum fakat dalla sabab sabi. Then he had gone astray and very far off from the right path. Now for bima nakzhim misaqa. Now this is a warning for the Muslims. You have also entered into a covenant with me. Before you, the same covenant was strengthened between me and Bani Israel. But it was due to the breach of that covenant they did. We cursed them. And we made their hearts hard like stones. Their hearts hardened. They are changing the places of the words, of the text, of the, of the book Torah. You know, you take out from context, change the context of the word, the meaning will change. And they forgot a portion of the teaching that was given to them. They were admonished with and they forgot it. Fala tazalu tattali'u ala khairati minhum. So, O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, you will always experience treachery from them. You made treaties with them and tribe after tribe broke the treaty. They are treacherous. When they were treacherous to Allah, how can they be faithful to you? They broke the covenant with Allah. How can you expect them that they will keep to the treaty that they have concluded with you? Illa qalila min whom except only a few among them. There are good souls also. But you know, hukmul aksar e hukmul kul. The majority, condition of the majority will be taken to be the condition of the all. Fafu anhum wasfah. So just ignore them. Turn away your face from them. Don't engage yourself in any conflict with them. Allah will look after them. Inna Allah yuhibbul muhsirin. If you overlook their mischiefs, then Allah will be with you. Allah is with the, peop the people who do good. So you go on doing good. You fulfill your part of the covenant. You fulfill your part of the treaty. If they are treacherous, well, they will be punished by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now the second covenant was taken from those people who called themselves Nasara. Nasara. And from those also who called themselves Nasara. We took the covenant. That is why I told you I can name this surah as the surah of covenant. Misak. Misak from Muslims. There was a Misak from the Jews. There was a Misak from this. Nasara. They also forgot lot of the things which were given to them and with which they were admonished. So we have stirred among them enmity and hatred. You know, it's the history that the blood shedding among different sects of the Christians 
There is no parallel in the history of the world. How have they been killing each other? It is not the case among the Muslims. Muslims have been, by and large, very tolerant nation. History proves it. But you know the sects, because most of the history is not, not known to most of us. That's a different case. And then the, the enmity between the Jews and the Christians. A long story of history. And enmity and hatred. And this will remain, this will continue till the day of resurrection. There is going to be an exception and I will later on discuss that exception. It will come, you know, in course of time in this very surah. And on that day, we shall tell them, all of them, what they had been doing. They will have their balance sheets, each one of them, before their eyes. Oh, people of the book, oh, people of the scripture, our messenger has come to you. And he is making clear and manifest most of those things which you had been hiding and concealing. You are concealing the true teachings of Moses, the true teachings of Jesus. But Muhammad has come, sallallahu alayhi wasallam, and he has brought all the things to the open. But he is also ignoring a lot of it. Not all of your crimes are being discussed. So many things, you know, we have omitted. Not only our messenger has come to you, to you has come a clear light from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and a book which is very clear, very self-explanatory, kitabun mubin. With this book Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and with this, this light, Allah guides so many people whosoever want to follow his pleasure, who want to pursue the pleasure of Allah, they can get the guidance from this book. And he takes them out from different shades and different depths of darkness into light. You will always find in the Quran, Noor as singular. Never Anwar. Zulumat as plural. Never singular. Why? Light is a positive phenomenon. And what is darkness? When there is no light, it's darkness. And it has different shades. Shades of darkness. Light is something one. Minas Zulamat. Now we have the, the, the darkness of kufr. Darkness of shirk. Darkness of materialism. Darkness of atheism. Darkness of skepticism. All these things are different shades of darkness. This book of Allah takes you out of all the shades of darkness. Into the light, light of guidance. Wa yahdihi mustaqim and guides them to the right path, straight path. Lakat kafar al ladina kalu inna Allahu al Masih ibn Maryam. Definitely, those people have blasphemed, who have said that Allah is Himself Masih ibn Maryam. I told you, this is God incarnate. The concept. That Allah himself has come down to this earth in the form of, in the person of Isa ibn Maryam. لَقَدْ كَفَرَ الَّذِينَ قَالُوا إِنَّ اللَّهَ هُوَ الْمَسِيحُ بْنُ مَرْيَمُ قُلْ فَمَنْ يَمْلِكُ مِنَ اللَّهِ شَيْئًا Ask them, who will be able to have anything, any, any authority from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in arada yuhlik al-masih ibn Maryam wa ummahu if Allah decides to assassinate or to eliminate Masih ibn Maryam or not only Masih ibn Maryam also his, his mother Maman fil ardu jamia and whosoever is in the earth Allah can do it in one moment walillahi mulku samawati wal ard and to Allah belongs the kingdom and the sovereignty mulku samawati wal ard to Allah belongs the kingdom and sovereignty of all the heavens and the earth 
وما بينهما and whatever is in between them يخلق ما يشاء he creates what he pleases what he likes والله على كل شيء قدير and allah has power over everything وقالت اليهود والنصارى نحن ابناء الله واحباؤه and these jews and christians they say we are sons of allah and we are very much beloved with him he loves us we are the chosen people of the lord nahnu abna allah just as a son is dear to his father so are we dear to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala nahnu abna allah wa ibahu qul fala ma yu'azibukum bi zunubikum ask them then why allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has been punishing you due to your sins why he persecuted you at the hands of nabukadnazar why you were tortured at the hands of the greeks and at the hands of the romans and in this century at the hands of the germans if you are the sons of allah you are far with the beloved of allah why allah subhanahu wa taala has been punishing you due to your sins bal antum basharum mimman khalaq nothing of that type you are also men from among men who he whom he have created He has created all the mankind, and you are also human beings like other human beings. No son of Allah, no beloved of Allah. Allah loves only the righteous one. People who are taqwa in nakraba kum in the layat kaqum. No nation is the beloved of Allah. No group of people can claim that he has some special relationship with Allah. Bal antum basharum mimman khalaq yaqfiru li man yasha wa yazibu man yasha. He will pardon and forgive anybody he pleases. and he will chastise and he will punish anybody he likes wallahu walillahi mulku samawati wal ard and to to allah belongs the kingdom and sovereignty of all the heavens and the earth wama bainahuma and of whatever is there in between them wa ilaihi al masir and to him is the return aqulu qali hadha wa astaghfirullah li wa lakum wa lisa'ir al muslimin wal muslimat